is Alejandra Bellian Morse, and we co organize the Concordia Farmers Market. The Concordia Farmers Market is an opportunity for students to buy local and organic vegetables on campus. It makes our goal is to make it as accessible to students as possible. The project was originally done through the uh, Social Economy of Food internship with Satoshi Ikeda, who's a professor at, uh, of anthropology at Concordia. Uh, the Farmers Market project is uh, carried out by two uh, students who are taking my internship course in sociology. The, the course is titled Political Economy of Food and uh, the main objective is to uh, make students realize what kind of a bad food they are eating uh, that comes from uh, industry and industrial agriculture and then uh, give them opportunity to experiment with alternative food systems. This semester, uh, the market is held in the green space in the hall building on the second floor. The, the space is situated very interestingly because as you're going up the escalator to your classes, kind of peeking in there and wondering what's going on. So there's definitely an element of curiosity and that usually leads to people buying things, which is great. Well, um, I, uh, I came last week and was incredibly impressed and bought beets and carrots and apples and, you know, like uh, probably like the most delicious carrots. I had to get, I had to get some more. They come in these, they're quite sweet and cute. However, the big money purpose of the day, two things. One was the, the bag. Um, this, I can hold this logo proudly, okay, I'm fine, I'm, I like this. And then the other one is this honey, which is probably the tastiest honey I've ever, I've ever had. Like, I will be using this for the next month, and I'm really excited, and it's really tasty. I had my tea already. That's the greenhouse, and had tea and honey, and it was just lovely. There's a lot of sustainability issues that have to do with growing food, especially in our society, and the way that we use industrialized farming. Uh, there's a lot of emissions that are put off in these huge farms, along with bringing, trucking food into the cities from miles and miles and miles away, um, along with the pesticides that are put into the water and the, and the earth from non-organic farming. So as, even though this might just be a small portion of that, a small population that we're trying to to shift towards organic eating, I think that's where, where our main concern is as far as sustainability. We are also trying to be as sustainable as the project as possible. All of our posters have been done on, on um, recycled paper, all of our flyers and everything like that, and the tote bags that we're selling as well are made with organic cotton. So trying not to be hypocritical in the way that we run our project and the values that we have. Last week, uh, the grand opening of the market, the greenhouse completely sold out of their lettuce and things that they were selling, which is really great. Mostly what we'd like to be for these groups is an opportunity for them to sell their produce on campus. Because they're such great initiatives, but it, sometimes they might lack access to the students to actually purchase what it is they're growing. So we would love for this to be where they sell their things and where they bring their produce to the, to the student body. Rooftop Garden, which is stuff right behind us, they've been selling different different greens. Uh, there's been kale, romaine lettuce, radishes, and City Farm School has been selling greens as well and honey that they have from so right now we have a lot of root vegetables, beets and potatoes and carrots and things like that because that's what's in season. But in the spring um, or next year there might be different, you know, much different vegetables here. We have um, we have been approached by some people who were concerned that we had um, we were selling meat because they didn't think that that was the type of message projects like this should be sending. But I I I personally believe that. Um, that it, you don't necessarily have to promote vegetarianism to promote sustainable eating. The meat that we are that they are selling here is free range, cruelty free, and organic. And I think if students are going to be eating meat, I, we would rather them buy it from a source like this than to be buying factory farm meat from the supermarket. Well, my name is Ludovic, and I'm from Saint Melanie, which is a small village near Joliet. And I'm just well, I'm in my beginnings of farming. I'm trying to build some kind of a uh, agroecological system on my farm, which uh, introduce um, the veggies and the pigs in this, the same system with a rotation uh, on four years, which the pigs are in the field uh, grazing and uh, putting some manure in the field for the veggies that are coming two years after. So it's a rotation like that. I'm trying to um, use the less as possible manure from other farms 
because that's a big issue in organic agriculture now because we depend a lot on conventional agriculture for the manure. So most of the organic uh, produce we found uh, on the market now in organic are uh, from non-organic manure. So that's a big issue and we, we need to face, to, to face it to find some um, solutions to this problem, I guess. So that's one of the way I see it can um, get better. When the farmers told us last week that they, it was worth it for them to be here, that they had sold enough to, to keep coming back, that was our number one indicator that it had been a success. By having the market on the second floor of the hall building, it's hard for other students to know that it's going on at the moment. So that's definitely a challenge for us. We got to work on advertising and reaching out to more departments and more students in general. We would love to take suggestions from students if there's something that they think is missing from the market or any way that they think it could be better. We are always open to suggestions and we'd love it for, for people to come talk to us about what we could do to make it better. We, we're always accepting new volunteers. They can contact us through our Facebook page if, they, if students are, want to volunteer. But we'd also love to start doing workshops through the market. We have uh, all of the information sessions about sustainable eating, maybe cooking, organic local cooking workshops or anything of the sort. So if professors or students have special knowledge that they would like to share with the student population, they can absolutely do it through us. We have an email for the project, concordiafarmersmarket at gmail.com. So if anyone is interested in getting involved to sell or to volunteer, that's a great way to contact us.